This morning, we are helping you spruce up your home for less. We have Danny Russo, who's an interior designer and a reality TV star here in studio to talk about some ways you can do it. You don't have to pay a lot of money. Real quick trip to the store, come back, and you're all set. So let's start with color, because that's really important. And there's a color of the year? There's lots of colors of the year. So okay. every paint company comes out with their own color mm -hmm. each year. It starts... It started uh, beginning of, end of August, the okay. colors started coming out. So last week we had Sherwin Williams release their color of the year, which is navel. It's a navy blue. Blue's been trending for the last maybe five years. It never really goes away. But how do you incorporate that into your home? Right. Um, without going crazy. So in navel, you can, it pairs very well with yellow. And I hate to say blue and yellow. It's we like don't an want blue and yellow here I in know. Columbus. So let's, let's say blue and gold. Okay, that's better. So <laughs> gold, um, gold complements blue really well. We've been using it in small powder rooms. Uh, I sent you, you'll see it in kitchens sometimes. I don't recommend. For the cabinets. Yeah, but that's a big risk. So but, that's what I wanted to ask. If it's a color of the year, is it going to be trendy for, you know, this year, next year, and then in five years, you're going to have to repaint everything? No. So as in design, technically we have three primary colors. You mix them together and that's how you get all the other spawn colors. Um, but cabinets is a commitment. So a few years ago, everybody was painting their cabinets emerald green. Right. And now they're getting sick of it. So you don't want to be painting your cabinets all the time. Okay, so maybe so, little spots Yeah, just the little pops of color. So what I brought here today is some different pillows where you can add in navel. I brought in yellow because I've seen yellow trending a lot not yellow and blue together. Right. We'll call, we'll call it mustard or gold. That does look like so, a mustard, yeah. yes. Um, animal prints are always trending. They've never gone out of style. Okay. So I brought in some of these. These uh, Mongolian lamb pillows mm. are going, everybody loves these right now. So is it just a matter of going to the store, buying, you know, say four, six new pillows, putting them on your couch or throughout the house, and that Playing can spruce them. it up? Yeah, when I get sick of pillows on a sofa, sometimes I'll take them up to the bedroom and mm. I'll use them in my on a bed, um, on another occasional chair, but it's always a quick and easy change and you don't have to go buying expensive pillows. Um, we also talked about niches. So these are little spots in your houses and you don't know what to put in them or what to do. What's They're your very, advice? So I'm very confused by them as well. Yeah. <laughs> I see these builders putting them in and I'm like, what goes up there? So they tend to collect a lot of col uh, clutter. Yes. So what do you do? Less is more in those areas. I like just putting a piece of art if you really want to take it to the next level, you can always box them in with drywall. That's another bigger project to invest in. Mm -hmm. But a piece of art or a sculpture that has meaning will go a long way. Keep it simple, like so, this yeah. dog. Oh, that I reminds me of your pup. Yeah, so that's for a good, good for a small niche. Okay. Some of these niches I've seen are huge. So um, when you're traveling, any vacation you go on, I always recommend picking a piece of art because it gives you a connection mm -hmm. and it really invokes something when you're having guests over, you can talk about that experience or where your art came from. Conversation And it'll piece. make you happy, and it's just ha good to have a memory and a connection with your art. Okay, and what's uh, your advice for wall art? I mean, that's pretty simple to do as well, but you gotta do it the right way. Art is so subjective, as you know. Yes. So what does art mean to uh, the viewer and the person that owns a home? So it's a real personal connection. So my recommendation you can go to stores like At Home or Home Goods, and we have a lot of galleries in Columbus, as you know. Short North is a great place. There's some small pieces, large pieces. You can get any, pretty much anything. Big, large scale art, I am absolutely obsessed with because it just brings in this wow factor and it doesn't have to be crazy expensive. But what about putting up a bunch of pictures? You know, that wall and you have, you know, 10, 12 pictures maybe of your family. Are you a gallerina? Uh, yeah. I call them gallerinas, so they're gallery walls. But they're very so, unique and they're special and you can, you know, it could be pictures from one trip or pictures that your kids drew. Yes, family pictures. I have taken clients child's artwork from when they're in like preschool oh. and I've taken it to a framing shop and gotten it framed and made it really pop and it looks like a really expensive piece of art but right. it's very um I want to say elementary but you connect with it and the kids like it mm -hmm. um sometimes but you they map get embarrassed. it out first though yes always map it out okay so you want to get a roll of craft paper which you could pick up anywhere pretty much um Lowe's Home Depot mm -hmm. get a roll of craft paper and plan it out on the floor first and then tape the craft paper onto the walls you always want to think in multiples okay so threes fives nines sevens tens like think like that okay tens actually an even number so but <laughs> <laughs> that's okay right so you yeah just it depends on the scale of the wall and you always want to pay attention to the size of the wall the scale of the art mm -hmm. but people are going crazy with just 
floor to ceiling art, which mm -hmm. I love seeing this trend, mm -hmm. and really filling the walls up with art. So go for it. If you have it, why not? Yeah. Uh, and lampshades, uh, real quick, um, that's not a real expensive fix. No. So this lamp I picked up at Home Goods mm -hmm. for about $30. And people, when you buy lamps, they're kind of, they come with these shades. To me, this is the a very simple, boring shade. The white or tan or yeah. cream. So I stopped into the lampshade in the short north. Mm -hmm. um, I love Marianne that works there. And switching this out to even a black shade, just took this $20 lamp. So this shade was wow. about $35. All I've done is change out the finial. Mm -hmm. Finial was about $10. This shade runs about $25. So we got a whole different look. Just and like it, that. Yes. You could probably change it out for the holidays. Get a gold 100%. one for, so the, the, you know, Christmas. Exactly. And, uh, maybe a lighter one for Easter. So throughout the year. And if you want to do a fun art project, you can always get a blank shade and paint on top of it with oh. fabric paint. That's always a fun activity for the kids. Great advice. Okay, yeah. I walked away with so much today. Thank know, you so right? much. Danny Russo, we're going to yes. have to have you back. You can have me. I'm available anytime. Anytime. You know well, you're a busy me. man, I know. <laughs> but we appreciate you making time for no us. No problem. Great, great being here. Thanks for having me.